Hey guys, this is Hetu and welcome or welcome back to ETLK Labs. So guys, uh, today we will talk about uh, one of the very important interview question that is uh, everything about null values, right? So you might have faced some questions uh, around in and around null value and so that we will cover that, okay? And uh, this was also a request from many of the subscribers that they want to know everything about null value. So I thought that I will do cover it uh, in this video, right? And guys, uh, uh, today my throat is not so good, so just bear with me. Uh, but I thought that I should do this video uh, without any further delay, right? So that it can benefit uh, all of you, right? So let's try to explore and deep dive into this uh, uh, null value, right? So what exactly is null, right? So um, can you guess what is null in Oracle, right? <coughs> or maybe in SQL language, right? <coughs> Just a second. Okay, so guys, uh, if you talk about null, null is basically uh, something which is uh, unavailable, right? Unavailable or maybe undefined, right? Which means you don't know what is this value and you don't even know, you can't even de define the null value, right? So when I say, if I say where null equal to null, is it correct statement? Because this is not defined and this is also not defined. It doesn't mean that it can be any value and this null can be any value, right? So that's why this also equal to operator will also not work here, right? So for example, let me just give you, uh, okay, we'll, we'll try to explore uh, one by one, right? So let me open, um, let me just uh, uh, fetch the data from this uh, EMP table, right? I have some of the salaries here null, right? You can see here, right? And so if I want to know uh, which all the salaries are null, right? In that case, I can actually say where salary equal to null. Do you think this will work? Let's try guys, okay? So we are not getting that, right? We are not getting that. So what does it mean guys? <coughs> or maybe we'll try single quote how we actually try to uh, get the worker, no, right? So it says that uh, invalid number, right? Which means actually null value, to ex access the null value, uh, we have a very uh, special, uh, you know, uh, keyword that I, I would say uh, is null, right? This is something that you have to use, right? And is null will actually give you the, all the columns, right, because we are actually accessing star, which means all the column, where salary is null. So this are three, uh, three basically records which are having null value, right, as a, as a salary, right. Now, what if I am not interested to know which are the null, I just want to know which all the employees are getting are getting some or other salary, right? I mean, for them, uh, there is a definite salary. So it's a very simple, guys. So salary is not null, right? You just say not null, guys, okay? Just run it. And then if you verify, we are getting all of them which are not null, right? Which means how many records we are getting here? 13, right? 13 record, right? If I just run this, how much we should get actually? Uh, no, we should actually get 13 plus 3, right? So 16, we should actually get 16 total without filtering, right? So you see 16, right? So that is how actually you can uh, check whether we have the null value or not, right? Many times in ETL testing, we find some, uh, you know, um, uh, some mismatch or deviation when we compare, right? So what happens if there are certain null values, right, in one of the column, and then it's very difficult to uh, get the count or maybe any sort of aggregate functions because aggregate function simply skip null value, right? So for example, if I just want to know how much, how many, um, how many records are there uh, in this particular uh, table, right? So if I run count on salary column, right? We have actually 16 record here, but three of them are null, right? In this case, what will happen is this count will not consider those uh, counts, like right? one, two, three. It will not consider this. So it will give you 13 records. You see, we are getting 13 records, right? Whereas when I say EMP number, 
e number let's say it will give you all of them because there is no null value in the emp number column right so we are getting 16 right similarly if i say here star star means what guys i mean it has to check if one of the column right is not null then it will give me all the uh, it will count actually that one right so it means 16 records right that is how we can get now uh, many times when we verify we actually get surprised that why the count is not coming properly however we have the 16 uh, records here but we are actually getting only 13 here right in that case what we have to do is you have to use how do we handle now right so this is how we can one second guys so this is how actually you can check whether we have uh, we have null values or not right is null and is not null these are the two uh, i would say the keyword that you can use now how do we handle the null value so for example what uh, i want to let's say let me just run this guys I want to just take this example first so what I want to do is I want to actually uh, replace this uh, null value with some value right in that case how do we handle it because um, I simply uh, don't know let's say if the employees whose salary is not defined I simply want to uh, give them some default salary let's say 500 rupees right in that case let's say uh, how do we handle this scenario right so we have something called nvl function in oracle in uh, i think in sql server or uh, in sql server we have i think is null uh, is null or colas or all those functions but i am talking here about oracle only right so when you say you actually have worked on oracle you know oracle i think people will should not ask the question about other databases i mean the concept is almost same right it's just that the function name is different right so nvl is a, is a function uh, where actually we can we, we have we can give uh, here uh, it actually accepts two parameter one is the column and the second one uh, is what value you want to replace in case it gets actually null value right so let's say i want to say 500 right in this case what will happen guys uh, let me run it and then explain you okay so here you see where we are getting some salary i mean where the values are not null for the salary it is exactly displaying the same thing right there is no impact however where we have the null value that particular column uh, that particular uh, uh, value right is getting replaced by 500 here right this is what the nvl does right now there are certain cases right what i say is uh, okay so in this case guys uh, now let me just do it so in this case if i just want to count this uh, you know uh, count the row based on uh, based on this I, if i really want to know how many columns are there right exactly in this particular uh, table right then if i say nvl and i just want to simply replace it with zero so that you know it can come actually in my count so if i just run this count and then inside this what I'm going to do is uh, salary where we have null it is going to replace with zero which means actually this time the count will actually consider it as one uh, one uh, count right so now you see 16 value we are getting right because it's no more null it's actually uh, this particular function nvl function it will convert the null value into zero which means uh, when count runs it doesn't find any uh, null value that's why it is actually counting to 16 so which is right right so this kind of scenarios you might uh, face right this kind of uh, data mismatch you might fade while doing the etl testing so you can actually pretty much use this right now uh, there is another function guys i just want to quickly uh, tell you about another function okay so there is nvl2 guys okay so let me just take this salary as well okay so what if uh, i have a salary where i have certain null values uh, but I want to display two things one thing is if salary is found then I want I want to say found okay if there is salary in the column I want to say found if not then I want to say not found okay not found something like that I want to display now uh, let's try to run it so ideally what should happen is against all the uh, 
all the records where we have the salary it will say found and where we have null value it will say not found right so this look how it is very um, it is very important right i mean it's very good function actually you can use the nvl2 you can actually pass two parameter first one where it will actually having the value that uh, that in instead of that it will take this and where we don't have uh, value which where we have the null then it will take this value instead right so this is also very important nvl2 is also very important function so from the interview point of view the generally the question is what is difference between nvl and nvl2 in oracle right so you should be able to now answer this right i hope that it's clear to you right now okay now uh, this is about how do you handle the null value right now uh, let's talk about third thing how do you actually insert the null value in a table right so let's say i have I have employee table, right? And if I want to um, just insert some null value, let's say in uh, salary column, right? In that case, let me just run this. What all the columns are there then? All right. So if I want to insert any null value in this, so I'll say insert into EMP. Okay. Uh, then I don't want to give any. Um, what do you say here I don't want to give I want to actually take all the I want to insert everything so I want to just say 2000 simply value then I will say test to some random name guys okay department maybe 2000 2000 that's fine and then here I want to just say null okay because here we are actually considering all the column that's why we have not given any argument here i mean we are not actually considering a specific uh, column right i'll talk about that also but for now let's try to see whether it works it say one row inserted let's try to see whether we have got it inserted or not oh where is that oh see this is the last one that we inserted just now right so here it is automatically null value now guys uh, what if we have so many columns where we don't ha we don't know the value right i mean this is very practical scenario let's say we have the employee table and we don't know many uh, many columns values in that case i mean we can't just simply say comma null comma null and all those things instead of that we actually want to only choose the columns where we know the name right so what we can give here we can give the column name here so let's say e number then e name what else uh, DEPT number that's it right because salary I don't know let's say and I want to just say here 3000 this also I want to say 3000 and this may be three guys okay now we are actually not considering salary column which means, which means salary column will be uh, by default null inserted right now let's see whether we are getting the same thing so these are the two ways how you can actually insert the null value into your table right you see same thing right we are actually able to insert this 3000 employee number right so this is how actually you can insert right so yeah i think this is what i wanted to talk about you right i am i mean once you practice uh, this thing nvl and nvl2 and how do actually you uh, perform some aggregate functions as i sh as i sh shown you right i mean the aggregate function this is very important interview question also um, uh, how the aggregate function behave on the null value so if it encounters a null value then the aggregate function simply discard it it doesn't consider it discounts it right so that's also one of the things that you should know right because we have already uh, tried to run the count which is aggregate function on that particular column and it give me some uh, three less records right which means it has skipped the null values right all right guys so that's all i think for this video and uh, hopefully uh, this is uh, this will really give you good understanding and i will say guys you just do the practice right i mean once you practice it it's very very simple things right sql i would say is the most easiest uh, non procedural uh, programming language i would say right but you have to just uh, you know uh, continuously practice right once you start practicing then it will automatically come right you don't need to remember the syntax right so and then you, you will uh, uh, start uh, you know um, uh, exploring or start getting some intuition like how do we handle this and that right so that's all for this video guys and i hope that uh, it really uh, uh, it really adds you some good values right 
and uh, I'll see you soon uh, with the next video and uh, don't forget to share and uh, you know uh, share with your friends and uh, like this video alright and until uh, we meet next time happy learning bye